Musical makers and sultans and sultanas of sound, it's Prof G. Let's learn how we can properly format a WAV file for playing in CircuitPython. Now, while I supply WAV files in our tutorials, you probably want to use your own files at some point, and Adafruit suggests that your WAV files need to be either mono or stereo, but a bit of a warning, I've seen some students have repeated rhythmic background click noises in their audio files. Oftentimes this can be corrected by saving stereo files down to mono. You'll also want your files to have a sample rate of 22 kilohertz or 22,050 hertz, and files should be saved in a 16-bit format. Now, even if these terms don't mean anything to you, it's super easy to convert a file into this format. We'll use the free Audacity software available for both Macs and Windows PCs. You can find this by searching for Audacity online or just going to the URL audacityteam.org, click the download Audacity button, select the right file for the operating system you're using, and install this the way you'd install any other software. I've got Audacity up and I'm gonna open a file that I already own that I bought via iTunes. This file happens to be in an M4A format, but Audacity reads in most popular formats, including MP3s. Now, I actually see that there are two tracks in this file. That's because this is a stereo file. I wanna convert this down to mono. So I'm gonna select the tracks menu, then mix, then mix stereo down to mono. And now I see there's only one track. Next, to convert the sample rate down to 22,000 kilohertz, I'm gonna click on the audio setup icon and in the menu that shows up, select audio settings. And next to the project sample right, I'm gonna select 22,050 and press OK. Then finally, to export the file, you select the file menu, export, wave. You should see the encoding pulldown says sign 16-bit PCM by default. If it doesn't, select this. Then name your files and save them where you want, and you'll be ready to drag this wave file over into the contents of any folder holding sounds on your microcontroller. You can then quit out of Audacity, and if you're asked to save the file, you've already exported what you want, so you can select no. And that's it! Now, if you're working with audio, there are lots more tutorials on my channel, including how to play multiple tracks at once, how to eliminate pops at the start of sounds by using Audio Mixer, and if you're using a Raspberry Pi Pico, how to add a micro SD card reader, which you'll probably want to do when working with large audio files, since the Pico is otherwise space-constrained. Dive into our playlists and make something awesome.